there's a level of inside serenity that I didn't know really existed that I was able to get a little like more and more get a little bit more of a taste for. Mm. So is that a different type of peace and serenity? The like this inward journey or is it all the same? Like talk. So it's all it's separate. All what is that? It's, it's all the same from the standpoint that once you surrender to a situation, you do so with clarity, right? Like all the work that we've ever done around, you know, the spiritual work, you know, that have been in present for, you know, religions from thousands of years ago, or even just psychology, right? Just the things that we do in modern life to find clarity, to make sure that our heads are kind of in a good place, that becomes the place that we operate from, right? That becomes the clarity that we work from. That is a place where we find non-personal. So surrendering is accepting that place, right? You're accepting the peace that you have. You're expect, ex, accepting that you're in a difficult situation, but you've got clarity. And like, so in business world, sometimes you have to fire people, right? Nobody likes to fire people. That's a, that's a classic case of surrendering, but with logic and clarity. So that becomes what you do. So you follow through with that. But once you have made that choice and you've made it from a centered place inside you that's clear and has logic and you're comfortable with it, now you're peaceful. You're going through a situation that's it's going to be difficult. No, I mean, how many difficult firings have we been through on both sides of the coin, right? But if you know you're doing what has to be done to support your business and to make the whole organization healthy or to make your, your social group healthy, you have to do uncomfortable things. Firing is an example of that. But once you know that's what you have to do, there's a peace that comes with that, Rob. And, and that mm. it, it's easy to blame oneself whenever there's discord or whenever there's difficult motion moments, whenever you do have to let's say you do have to fight for some reason. Like, you know, sometimes the surrender is to fight. You know, you'll be in the street and somebody wants to take your wallet. Well, maybe it's the right thing to do to fight. Maybe it's not. That's a moment in the decision. But once you make that choice and it's time to operate, then you do so with knowledge and, and, and confidence in your own judgment. And that surrender is the peace because you know that you're doing the best that you can given all the situations in life. You've peeled your ego out of it. So you're not stepping into an area where you're just trying to defend some belief about yourself that doesn't really help or to protect some illogic that you might be carrying. We're working hard to kind of sift all that out so that when we get down to the parts that we use, the parts of our mind that we use to make decisions, we do, do so with confidence and serenity and peace. And surrender is part of how we find peace in those moments. So it's the place of where we're coming from with it, right? yeah. almost regardless, really regardless of what's showing up in front of us in life. You know, it... it it's an amazing thing that sometimes we have to do horrible things, you know, like life, you know, think of the word triage, right? That in, in a war situation, there are medics that actually have to walk across a battlefield and make choices about who lives and who doesn't, right? How the hell are they supposed to be at peace with that, right? But they have to be. You have to look at the reality of the situation. And let's say you know the math in your head and you're the person doing the triage. We have enough beds for 30 people. We have enough doctor support to, to support 40 people. There's 180 people here. You know, the reality of the situation brings you peace. And it may be horrible and it may be uncomfortable and it may be a scene of death and destruction, but you operating with inside that can have peace because you know that you're doing the best you can under the circumstances that you've been given. And the and, beauty and, of and that, those that couldn't be there, then they can't help. Right. Isn't that the challenge? Absolutely. If you can't be at peace with it. You can't help that analogy that Mickey uses all the time with, if you can't stand the sight of blood and your child gets hurt riding on their bike, and you can't help go get a band aid, or it's worse, and you got to call nine one one. Like, you can't help the situation if you can't make peace with it. And that's the least, least peaceful exactly. place to be in, right? Because now you're beating yourself up because you couldn't help and you didn't know what to do, and you know you haven't sorted through your stuff. Yes, you know. So let's take that so concept. For anybody listening, that, <laughs> that's why I wanted to go there. 
It's just like, this is what we're talking about. We're not talking about lower levels of apathy and what was the other word that you used? Disconnectedness? I'm not sure. You know, just this isn't about disconnecting from life. This isn't about being um, passive around life. This is about accepting the reality of life. And sometimes that does mean surrender because you're setting your ego to the side. We all have preferences. We'd all like everything we do to be a million times successful, right? That's not the reality. But when we do accept reality, then we can do what business is. Business is about coming out with an idea, believing in yourself, putting yourself out there, putting your, taking a risk because you're betting on yourself. Now, once you do that, things don't always work the way you think they are. Business is about responding to those moments to adjust the course of plan, to figure out the new thing that you're going to do to take what you thought was your core competency and maybe it applies in this area. It's about reacting, but you can't react from ego. That's where the surrender comes in. If interest rates go up all of a sudden, Rob, now your, your business model changes completely and you go, (laughs) sorry about that. I didn't, (laughs) I didn't want to put that look on your face, (laughs) but but that's reality (laughs) and you have to surrender to it because even though your ego would like to say, gosh, with certain kind of financing, now I can, you know, get, a hundred more apartment complexes over the next five years, maybe that's not the right thing to do. And if you don't surrender to the reality of changing economic conditions, you're going to make mistakes because you're operating out of untruth, unclarity. Maybe it's your ego. Maybe you said something to somebody. Maybe you want to appear to be somebody who's got blah, blah, blah. But reality brings clarity and you have to surrender to reality. That's really what this is about. 